What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another video. I know, I know, Maribel, why didn't you post last week, Sunday and Thursday? Y'all, I have no excuses. I've been slacking and I've been needing a mental break. You know, everybody needs a mental break here and then. And um, I've been really needing it. I had more important stuff that I needed to focus on. And I was a little overwhelmed. I got ADHD, y'all. I was a little overwhelmed and I felt like, oh, I just don't have enough time in the day. But I'm posting this video in advance. I'm gonna, rec I'm recording it now, it's Saturday. Um, and I'll be posting it tomorrow for y'all because I love y'all. And I'm also gonna start recording videos in advance. So I do post even when my day is busy and just schedule it out. Um, organization is not something that I'm great at, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Y'all don't beat me up. Um, anyways, y'all, I just want to let y'all know that I wanted to talk to you guys about past versions of yourself and, and loving those past versions of yourself and forgiving yourself for the past version that was not so great. You know, we've all been there. We've all hurt people. We've all been hurt. We've loved people and we've allowed people to overstep our boundaries and, and sometimes, overstep certain standards that we we put for ourselves and sometimes we didn't even have standards i used to be that person i used to be that person who didn't um have standards and i just wanted someone to love me i didn't care how or shape the form that this person came in i just wanted to be loved and i didn't set standards for myself for somebody else and what i recommend when somebody's coming approaching me what my standards are and i didn't have boundaries set up where Yes, I did have boundaries, but as soon as they would overstep it, I would allow them to continue to overstep it instead of setting my firm boundaries and walking away when need to be. Y'all, that is something that I've worked on so hard this year is really setting standards and boundaries for myself and keeping them and being being loved with it, like like loving myself through it because I had to forgive my past version and I also had to have love and patience for my past version of myself because the past version of me, the old version of me wasn't ready to set firm boundaries and standards, but this new version who I am today is ready to set those firm standards and boundaries and keeping them and continuing to be this authentic version of myself and no longer trying to live a double life of this is me, but this is me on the other side. This is me fully and who I am authentically all around. There is no difference in anything that I do. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's the change that I want to talk to you guys about. Be okay with changing. Be okay with evolving. Be okay with you know, being different from the person that you were yesterday. And if someone has a problem with you changing or evolving or being a better version of yourself, that person does not need to have a place at your table. They don't need to be eating with you. It's okay for them to eat, just not with you. And you have to know how to set those standards and those boundaries for yourself and allow to cut ties for anybody who's trying to hold you back you know, and keep them like, I'm not going to, st I'm not going to put up with the stuff that I've put up before. You know, you are a better version of yourself more than you are. So the past version of you, because the past is the past. You get what I'm saying? I've realized I am not the same version. I am a whole different person than I was last year, including in the year before that. And the year before that is just not even me. I don't even know who that is, but I do have love for that for that past version of myself, that old version of me, because I understand her. I know why she was in survival. I know why she was was in that dark place, but that doesn't mean that I have to hold on to her. I can love her and let her go because she is no longer needed in this time frame. She is no longer needed to survive. She is no longer needed to be here at this moment because I no longer need to survive. I am now living for myself, living for my destiny. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about live for you live for your destiny this is the new version this is 2024 we are evolving to this better version of ourselves so let's go freaking do it whatever you gotta do if you gotta exercise every day set out a schedule do what you gotta do if you gotta you want to be better at something set out a schedule show up for yourself and show up for the past version of you who couldn't show up for them back then if you couldn't show up for yourself back then show up for yourself now show up for yourself now have love for the old version of you. 
but know that that is no longer the new version of you or the future version. So y'all have a beautiful day. I can't wait to drop this video and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Peace. Thank you.